Hey and welcome to Silver Linings. My name is Ross and today I'll be taking you through a 20 minute core workout. We've got a real focus into the pelvic floor, the front of the abdominal side and back. So we're thinking that 360 degree workout. Now make sure you've got your device in a place that you can see me standing up, kneeling and lying down as we will be moving between all of these positions. For today's session, you are just going to need a mat or a towel to do the exercises on. Grab yourself a little sweat towel if you think you might need and some water. Now throughout the session, we're gonna be really layering up. So it's gonna start off a little cardio burst just to get the blood pumping. We'll start off slow. Each time we move through a new position, it'll get that little bit harder until we end on a nice cardio high, a peak at the end. Listen out for any modifications throughout that you might need and take as many breaks as you need to. Standing tall, have a little roll of the shoulders and straight away, we're just gonna start marching. So drawing the knees into the chest. I want you to think of this more as an ab workout than it is just a walk. So we're thinking about a little curl, a little crunch in the belly button is drawn in, in and in. So really make this work for yourself. You can just chill out, but I want you to find it for yourself as you go in and in. Now, add a little jump in between. This is where we start to get that little bit of the heart pumping, the cardio first. If that feels good, you start to speed it up into high knees. Think of this once again as an ab workout, tall through the spine, core crunching, breathe. We just have another 10 seconds. Team five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, good. Now, take a deep inhale, hands come out to the side and above the head. Exhale, down through prayer, three times. Final time. Hands come down by your side. Stand tall, close your eyes. Plant your feet into the earth. Take a soft bend in knees. Tall through the spine, engage through the core. Inhale, fill the abdominals with oxygen. And release. Now if you're still catching your breath, take this at your own time. One more. Closing your eyes, visualizing the body filling up. Take the hands onto the waistline. You can open your eyes for a second. Between your hips, and your um, ribs there. You wanna feel that sort of squishy bit in the side where there's no bones. You wanna inhale, feel your hands fill up. Inhale for four, in, two, three, four. Breathe out, three, two, one. In for four, in, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three. This time in for four, out for six. In, two, three. Four out for six, six, five, four, three, two. One more time, we go in, three, four, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand tall, little shake. Okay, set the feet nice and wide. We're thinking 10 and two with the toes. Hands out to the side. Inhale, open up through the chest. Exhale, curve as much as you can. Now this curve, we're thinking of this as an ab workout as well. We're finding the pelvic floor front to the back of the body, that undercarriage. We're thinking about drawing that in and up. Plant the feet down, inhale. Exhale, draw it up, bend the knees as much as you can. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, draw that belly button in. Make this a little ab crunch, you can hear in my voice how hard I'm working. Two more, two more, inhale. Exhale. Final time, inhale. Exhale, draw up and in, and release. Take it down to the floor. We found that pelvic floor. We're gonna to continue to find it. We're gonna work a little bit more into the transverse abdominals. High curl. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, scoop the abs out. You've got the feet in parallel, hip width apart. Hands come behind the thighs. Think about belly button drawing in, almost like you're being punched in the stomach. I want you to find that little roll of the hips. You'll see here, the waistband of my shorts rolling away. That's what we want. Roll towards yourself, away from that fist. Find that position. It should feel tough already. You're able to breathe though. We're going for a little march. One knee draws in, 
and back down. Knee as close to yourself as possible. Use the arm to help you. One more each side, draw it in. Lower down, other side. If you can, no more hands. Knee draws in and down. There's gonna be a lot of marching today. We started off in that cardio burst. We're repeating it now, a little march. In and down. One more the speed, draw it in. A little bit quicker. In three, two, one, let's go. In and down, in and down. Belly button drawing in, keep that breath going. Breath is so important during our abdominal work. It's gonna help us get through it for one, but it's also gonna help create that flat sheet of abdominals rather than a domed set. In and down. Let's see if we can speed it up even more. We go in, 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 and in. Keep breathing. We've got eight left. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five. We hold in four, in three, two. That knee comes in, little draws in and in just six, six, five, other side, in four, in three, two, and one, other side, six, five, four, we hold in three, in two, hold one, both knees lift off, hands behind, find stillness here, toes up, legs into a tabletop position, if it feels good, release, four, six, four, five, we're done, in four, in three, two, one, release, good, a little bit hip flexory that one, so let's bring the toes together, knees wide, one hand on the floor behind you, hips push forward and up, hand to the ceiling. Breathe into that stretch, really feel that stretch through the hip flexor. If it feels good, hand can come overhead. Breathing into this, really push that hand into the floor so you can press yourself forward. Four, three, two, lower down. Hands sweep around the front of the body, other side. Inhale as you exhale, press up, really push that hand forward, hips forward, hips high. Hand overhead if it feels good. Up and over for five, four, three, two, one, lowering down. So that was that deepest corset layer of muscle, that pelvic floor at the start. Let's get into the rectus abdominals near the surface of the body, lying on your back. Bend one leg, think about driving the lower back really as much as you can into the floor and release. Two more, press down, release. This time press down, release a tiny bit just to find that neutral spine. Neutral spine is a little pocket of air underneath the lower back. Abs drawing in, hands can either be out to the side or sometimes for this position it's nice, underneath the hips. Your leg is coming all the way up to the ceiling. Two, three, four, and back down. Two, three, four, same leg lifted up. Lower down. If a long leg is too much for you, you can do almost like a little march once again, the knee coming in, see how it feels. Otherwise you're with me, a little bit quicker, two counts up, long leg comes up and up, lower down and down. Now you might be thinking, Ross, this is easy peasy. That's fine, we're gonna layer this up, remember, it should be easy to start, so you can find that progression. Up and up, just one more, lift it up, bend the leg, drop it down, other leg long, slow to start, four counts up, here we go, we go. Four, three, two, one, lower down, three, two, and one. Nice job. How's that neutral spine? How's that breath doing? How's that belly button drawing in? Upper body should be nice and relaxed. One more, the speed, three, four. Get ready, folks, a little bit quicker. Up for two, down for two. Lift up and up, down and down. Lift up and down. Two more, two more, bring it up. Take it down. Take it up and down, beautiful. Both legs long. Start with the hands underneath the hips. Neutral spine, draw the abs in. Curl both legs up. They come up and up, down and down. Lifting up and down. Now this is still getting into that transverse abdominals. We're gonna layer this up as we said, so it gets into the six pack muscle, that rectus abdominals. We're moving two up, two down here. Three more, take it up and down, two more, two more, bring it up, and down, final time, lift it up and hold, hands either behind the head or they can reach long, legs can be bent or straight, wherever you are, we take little lifts up and up, up and up, we've got eight, seven, six, five, four, we hold in three, in two, in one, inhale, exhale, lift one inch higher, eight counts and we're done, eight, seven, 
Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug the knees. Take the hands now behind the thighs into a little ball position. Start to take little rocks forward and back. You're gonna roll all the way up like a ball and find your balance, hold. Roll back down. Roll up and hold, and back. If it feels good, you start to lengthen the legs away from you. Roll up and hold, into that little teaser position almost, and back. If this feels fine, see if you can release the hands and roll, up and hold. Good, how's that feeling? Up and hold, finding that teaser if you can. Three more. Two more, keep that going. Release, up and hold. Final time, up and hold. Now find stillness there, bend the legs. Take the hands behind the thighs, knees into the chest. In, in, in. If that feels good, you release the hands. If that feels good, long legs. In, eight times. Seven, six, we're done. In five, four, three, two, one. Release, roll, come, not roll, come over onto your front. Little stretch through the core, elbows down, looking over one shoulder then the other, breathing, breathing, breathing deeply, pressing back into a child's pose, little rock of the hips. Really nice work. All right, let's get into the obliques now, into the side of the body, down on your back. One leg bent, one leg to the sky. Hands come to the outside of that thigh, I've got one, Hand on the thigh, one hand on the calf. If you can reach up there, great. If not, both on the thigh, it's not the knee. Little lifts, here we go. Up for two, down for two. We lift up and up, down and down. Two more, lift it up, up, down, down. Get ready, a little bit quicker. In three, two, one. One lift, one drop, one lift, one drop. If you can, release one hand. Great, maybe even two. Four more. Three, two, up and hold. For six, for five, four, three, two, one. Swapping sides, up for two, down for two. Lift it up and up, down and down. We're gonna speed this up. Lift and down, lift and down. Maybe one hand releases, maybe two. We've got six more, six, five. Keep breathing, <sighs> exhale on the way up. Three, two, up and hold, find stillness. Lift higher, six counts, then we're done. In five, in four, little breather. Three, two, one, little breather. All right, team, exactly the same thing. The other leg now is not going to support us. It's gonna be a little bit harder. So that leg's still up to the sky. The other leg is in tabletop. Hands to the outside of the leg, one lift, one drop. Option to release the hands. One lift, one drop, four, more, three, two, up and hold, lift higher, inhale, exhale. Six counts, here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Straight away, lie down, swap legs, hands to the outside, get ready, peel yourself up, in three, two, one, one lift, one drop, up and down, up and down. Six times, six, five, four, three, getting ready to hold it up, in two, last one, we lift and hold. Inhale, exhale, lift one inch higher for six, for five, for four, we're done. In three, two, one, relax. Okay, beautiful work. Straight away, coming into a side plank. Your elbows down. Knee down to start, arm lifts up to the ceiling. If that feels good, stagger the feet. If that feels great, stack the feet. That's your hardest option. Your hand comes under and up, underneath the ribs and up. You can gaze into that palm for a little bit of a challenge here. We've got 10, nine, eight. We hold in seven, six, five, four. Get ready to hold in three, in two, one, hand back up to the ceiling. It reaches overhead for eight, for seven. We're done in six. Straight away on the other side. In three, two, one. Elbow comes down, float round to the other side. Pick the option that's right for you. Knee down, feet staggered, feet stacked. I'm gonna spin around so you can see me. Arm gets ready to move. 
in three, in two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hand reaches to the ceiling, it reaches overhead. Eight, seven, we're done in six, in five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, great work. Cross the legs, a little stretch. Up and over, side stretch. Breathe into this, beautiful. We've really worked into the side of the body now. Let's get into the back body. Little back extensors to start, just to warm up into the back. Lying down on your front, elbows wide, toes together, knees, I'm um, sorry, heels roll out to the side. Tuck the pelvis under to get rid of the arch in the spine. Nose and forehead pointing down to the ground. Head, neck and shoulders lift and lower. At the same time, lift one leg and down. Other leg lifts up and down. If that feels good, both legs can lift at the same time. If that feels good, hands can join in, arms can join in. So everything lifts up and up. Let's speed this up. One lift, one drop, four more. Four, three, two, last one, lower. Take a quick press back into child's pose. And then when you're ready, slide forward again onto your elbows. You're in your modified plank, elbows underneath your shoulders, knees are down, back is long. Tuck the toes, lifting one knee up and down, other knee comes up and down. So again, little march. If this feels good, you tuck both knees and drop one knee. Down, up, down, up. If you can, we take it a little bit faster to finish. We've got eight more, we go eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Press back into child's pose. Little rock out, we're coming forward now onto the hands. Option to modify, it'll be exactly the same thing. Tuck the toes, you lift one knee up and down. Little march as you go, or you come all the way up, moving one knee at a time. Wherever you are, we start in three, in two, in one. Knee and lift knee and lift, one drop, one lift, we speed this up, down, 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 if you want even quicker for the final set, it'll be knee, 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 ten, nine, eight, seven, we're done in six, in five, we're out, in four, three, two, one, release, beautiful, planks are rocking that full 360 abdominal wall. We're gonna end now on a cardio high. We've only got a couple of minutes left. We're going for 10 bicycles, 10 mountain climbers. Your bicycles, one leg long, the other leg bent, you're turning towards that bent leg, then we change. 10 times, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You then come over onto your front, for mountain climbers. It's an advanced option from those marches. The knees come in and in. You've probably done these before. Let's go quick. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Onto your back for those bicycles. That's one round down. We've got two rounds left. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Onto your front, into that plank. 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Final round, bicycles. In three, in two. Let's go, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's finish it strong. Fastest round yet. In three, in two, in one. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release down. Toes together, knees as wide as you can get them. Reach the hands forward and then flip the palms to the ceiling. Child's pose. <sighs> catch that breath. Take a little rock out in the hips. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Catch, catch, catch. And then when you're ready, rock the weight forward onto the hands. Bring them underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Cat cow. Inhale, drop the chest, lift the chin. Exhale, other way. <sighs> Two more. Final inhale, exhale, tuck the toes, rock the weight back, hang over the legs just for a second, and then bend the knees, roll all the way up, engaging the core on the weight, roll the shoulders down around the back, 
and silver liners. You have made it to the end of the session. Really, really great work. Hopefully you're feeling that work, that layering up 360 workout. Really, really nice. You smashed that. Once again, my name is Ross. You can check out this video at any time on the library. I will see you very soon. Thank you so much.